Hello everybody! Welcome on Saunavit's platform. Today we will talk about how the wellness culture exploring a magic of the aromatherapy with aroma expert Marte, Floy Loyally Masters and Aroma Men Company. Enjoy the watching! So good morning, welcome to the Sauna Wizard Zone. Our next guest is Martin van Horlbeek. So good morning, Martin. Good morning. Thank you very much for making some time free to have this interview. You're welcome. So I think a lot of Sauna Masters know you already, but a lot of Sauna Masters does not know you. And everybody wants to know a bit more who is Martin. So can you please tell me first a bit who is Martin van Horlbeek? Who is Martin van Horlbeek? Okay, that's a very good question. Um, so uh, I started uh, Avgus, I think, in um, 2009 or 2010 um, in, a, in a spa in Belgium. And yeah, it became a passion for me. I also got to know you, of course, in, yep. the, in the same yep. term in, term there in, uh, in Belgium. Um, and um, yeah, uh, as it became a passion, we tried to learn more about uh, what can you do, how can you trigger the people. Uh, and as an aromatherapist, um, my passion, of course, went to essential oils, working with herbs inside the sauna. And uh, from that passion, it became the full-time job that I have today. Yes, so, I still remember that a bit. The first steps and days we have worked together also. Exactly. So it's a nice memory. Uh, and you say it, I see it on your t-shirt, they're standing Lolly Masters. Exactly. So you so created Lolly Masters. Indeed. Can you, what is Lolly Masters? Well, um, we created Lolly Masters in 2012 um, as a result of this passion. Um, as, you, uh, as you know, we, we are um, giving a lot of educations uh, and inspiring Avgus Masters in working with essential oils uh, in sauna, working with uh, healthy natural ingredients uh, and elevating well, what naturally sauna does, um, and that's uh, the benefits, the health benefits that we uh, elevate with our natural products. So in 2012, uh, I created uh, Loyalty Masters together with Jürgen um, as a result of just trial and error, testing things inside the sauna, and uh, a lot of people yeah, liked uh, these uh, kind of rituals. Uh, because back then a lot of people just used chemical uh, products, chemical scents. So we were experimenting, uh, experimenting with essential oils, um, and a lot of people liked it. And a lot of people liked the idea, um, and yeah, we started to give training in that, uh, and that's how Lonely Master started. It just started out of nothing, and uh, it uh, it became uh, a little company, and yep. this little company. Uh, have has been grown for the last uh, for the last eight years into yeah a full professional company where we guide a lot of wellness centers all around the world um, in creating a natural outcomes plan uh, natural outcomes experiences for for their guests yeah, yeah. so you did bring the outcomes during the years on a higher level yes exactly that yeah. was uh, our idea to bring outcomes to a higher level to a more professional level. Uh, and as I always uh, describe it, for me, a sauna master is like a, a sommelier. Yeah? Yeah. So uh, a sommelier does with, with wine, um, as an Avogus master should do with essential oils. We just don't go inside a sauna, pick some oils, do something and go out. For me, a professional sauna master is really uh, doing something with the elements, controlling the elements, uh, gaining knowledge of his elements being very creative and bringing a complete story, a complete package, a complete experience. And this is what I, I found the most fascinating about working with essential oils, for example. If you understand what essential oils are, if you understand uh, what natural products are, how they consist of, um, how they work, how their molecules work, it is so easy to uh, create this beautiful, harmonized, um, experiences and this full sensory exper uh, experiences um, and if you that master these things and you make it into a story people love stories and people yeah. love experiences they just you know it, it's nice to be in a sauna and you smell nice things and an august master waves but if it's a, if the, the the goal is clear for the guests 
it brings them really into a full experience of the senses and this makes it into a wow experience yeah the only thing of course is that uh, this is um, not for every sound master you need to um, learn some things about yep. this you need to uh, get experience in, inside this you can do all the courses but if you are not making these courses into practice then nothing will happen you just yep. keep on being on your level and what we try to do with Afus masters is we try to trigger them to get to a new level to to gain new knowledge to see things from a different perspective and um, making their yeah making their their um, their outguses or their rituals or whatever they do uh, really on a higher level more focused not just taking some things but really knowing okay I will take uh, these oils I will do these waving techniques I will build up the heat like this uh, I will uh, first of all the sound of master itself is so important I will act in this way uh, yeah. not acting but really um, uh, for example if you do a relaxed outgus you keep your voice down you keep your uh, your movements down you keep everything nice and slowly if it's more stimulating afgus for example you know if you do a banya uh, you know you bring you bring the atmosphere in. It's, it's completely really, different exactly yeah, yeah. it's it's creating an atmosphere yeah. and if you if you just i'm not saying that you have to um, that you have to uh, analyze every afgus that you do because that keeps the the fun away but if you think about a few points in your Avgus and you create a clear goal for that Avgus, you really can create much higher, um, uh, yeah, a, a much higher level in, inside your Avgus. Yeah. And this is what we try to do. Yeah. yeah. I can understand uh, what you say and I understand it really good. And I think every sound master will understand your words, but maybe we have a lot of viewers who are just watching this now and they are maybe thinking what is an Avgus? So can you maybe just explain short in your own words if you go to a sauna or a sauna complex what is an Avgus? Yes of course so what is an Avgus? Uh, an Avgus is uh, first of all uh, happening inside a sauna. Yeah. It is an Avgus master um, or a sauna master that brings in water essential oils and a towel these are the three most the basic, <laughs> vital, the basic, the basic things, things. Yes. and uh, what's yeah. happening is that uh, the afghus master will bring the water and uh, the essential oils on the oven this will evaporate and this will create um, a sensory experience yeah. in fragrance and of course in heat yeah? Yeah. so what happens is that these little uh, water molecules um, transport the heat and also transport the oils inside the room and we will feel a lot of things. We will feel a heat experience, we will feel a fragrance experience, um, and a lot of things also happen in the mind, of course. Eh? Because yeah. when you do these things, a lot of studies show uh, that uh, the mental benefits from sauna are incredible. Uh, it's not only the physical, but also the mental uh, experience. So it's really a wow experience, and uh, I was last year, I think it was last year, yeah, I was in UK, uh, in Brighton, and the beautiful thing is that in, in Brighton, for example, um, none of them had any Avgus experience. So yeah. when I was there, I, I was doing an Avgus in a small, in a beach box uh, in Brighton. Beautiful, uh, cool little sauna on the beach. Um, I think for around 25 people. Um, and all of these people, I think 90% never had an Avgus before. Yeah. And seeing these people act on the first time, how they react, uh, because they, they had no idea what was yeah, going yeah. to happen. They just lure them and say, hey, you know, you have to do this. Yeah? yeah, you just have to do this. And a lot of people were like, yeah, they had no idea what to expect. And if you see then how these people react, they all come out like, okay, well, yeah. I want to go again. Yeah. yeah, I want to go the next time. And now, you know, they are all August believers. Yeah? Yeah. So um, for people that never had an August of never, or never seen an August, it is a the sauna experience. Um, that you can have and of course you have a lot of different avguses yeah, yeah? Uh, you have the classic avgus where uh, i told you we just have water essential oils uh, we'll bring them on the stones and bring a beautiful sensory experience but then you also have uh, uh, show avguses where it's more like teether uh, where we really bring all the senses into a certain theme or a certain story uh, it is really theater but then 
uh, we also have uh, the the feeling around yeah, it, yeah? yeah when you when you are in theater or in, in in a movie you just watch something on the screen but in the sound now we really have a lot of other senses that are are being triggered um, and uh, yeah you have you have so many different uh, Avgus rituals uh, so everything is different every Avgus is different every sound master is different everybody brings another atmosphere another passion another so um, yeah I don't think ever any Avgus is the same yeah. so that's the beautiful thing also I can follow it. that yeah. uh, but it's good we give an ex bit explanation yeah. for the so, people yeah. and a question I sometimes uh, have of if I see new people in the sauna they say okay it sounds interesting but a sauna it's maybe 80 degrees if you give a ritual I'm inside but it's my first time and if I want to go out what can I do uh, is it because I sometimes people are really afraid to go this first yeah. step yeah, so what exactly. advice you give to the people then to, uh, <laughs> that's my cat that's giving you the advice yeah? Uh, he's straight. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what advice that I would give to people that never have been uh, to a sauna or want to start with a sauna is very easy. Sit on the low bench, sit uh, near the door, and uh, in every avgus or in every sauna ritual, you always can go out. Yeah. So, it's the basic thing that we learn to avgus masters uh, to say if it's too much or you don't like it anymore you can just go out and yeah. it's very easy I so, think it's uh, the same thing I do yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. so uh, the doors are, are never locked so it's it's quite easy and nobody looks or nobody cares yeah. uh, people go out whenever they want to go and yeah. it's nice because you know the Avgus we are not there for us we do it for the guests yeah. and every guest has a, another tolerance you know we have the diehards eh? we all know the yeah, diehards yeah. always sit on top and they are ready for it and also they you know if they're ha if it's too hot for them you see them going down and it's pre it's it's perfectly normal yeah, yeah. that's true uh, yeah. so thank you for this little explanation about of course so for people who never have the experience with of course it's a bit more clear now yeah. so let's go back to lolly masters yeah. uh you are from belgium yes uh, but I know Lolly Masters is all over Europe, so you have a team that is working for Lolly Masters. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. And let's say I'm a new sauna master and I want to get in contact what, with Lolly Masters or get some education. What should you advise me? Because I think many people, yeah. uh, it's not so easy to get in contact with you personal. So what advice can you give to new sauna masters? Well, um, you know, uh, I think it's all about uh, the certain level that people have. You know, we are we are training uh, people that never had a, a, any Avgus experience, um, so that don't work as an Avgus master. So there's an, uh, a basic Avgus master course, um, but a lot of people are Avgus masters and they want to learn about because that's yeah. our our thing. Eh? It's, yeah. it's creating natural rituals. Um, I always recommend them to start with level one, and it's very easy. You know, we have a website. You just contact us there. We have a team of people, uh, and we do it in a lot of languages. So um, I have, for example, Felix uh, that giving a lot of trainings. Yeah, Felix is um, from Germany. Felix is from Germany, yeah. exactly. So yeah. he speaks uh, German. He speaks English, uh, which is very easy. Uh, I also give a lot of trainings. I also do yeah. it in Dutch uh, and English, and uh, sometimes in German. But I try to leave it uh, the German uh, to to Felix because yeah. that's easier. Um, and then we have a lot of other uh, people that. Um, that are trainers, uh, not full time, uh, but give trainings in their own language. Uh, yeah. We have uh, people in Italy, we have people in, in in Holland, we have people in Czech Republic, in Poland. So uh, these people give uh, can give these courses on a regular basis. So the only thing that you need to do, just contact us um, through our, our email or, or phone, uh, and we guide you to the to the right people. Yeah. Uh, and it's also very easy. What we do is we do it in two ways, or we train an Avgus master, yeah. and usually we have there in the year different international courses. And these courses are in, let's say, Germany, or one in Switzerland, or one in in Belgium, or one in Holland. And people come from everywhere. You know, we have people from from Canada, from UK, from from uh, United States that flying over just to do this course. Yeah. And it's usually a two-day course. So why do we take two days? We feel that three days um, is very difficult. Uh, yeah. Why? Uh, first of all, there's a lot of knowledge coming in. 
and the brain only can handle yeah, you know yeah, yeah. like some part and second we do a lot of practice yeah and it's always inside the sauna but you can imagine it's really going in out in out yeah. in out because we really want to train the people uh in in, in, in fully uh we i once did i think my first level two course was three days and you know also me i was i was that tired that, yeah. that third day because it's so intense you get a lot you of information so much information yeah. and at one point you also need to process it that's yeah. why yeah. we also work in levels so uh that you learn something and then you can uh practice it yeah and you can get it inside you learn to work with it and then maybe six months later you say okay i will do a level two and then you have new information again yeah, yeah. this is the most easiest part so, yeah. yeah i think it's a good idea because if you are a beginner you can follow the basic course then you can practice it and if you say later okay i'm ready for a next level yeah, you exactly. can join in a level yeah, two or, or we higher have, we have so many people that are so excited to start and they really say okay i want i want everything you know yeah, i want yeah. just can i follow not everything in one week uh but it's mentally and physically it's impossible yeah. it, and it's also you know there's so many uh it is not something that you you know with a form of experience yeah, it's yeah. not something that you learn by the books it's something that you do by experience yeah. so you need to have a basic understanding of the knowledge which is the theoretical part which we always do because we we need to make sure that people are knowledgeable that they know exactly what yeah. they are doing and why they are doing it i i love the why's yeah uh, so um why they are doing it and how does it work why does it work but second, we have this practical part where we learn, for example, let's say in level one, we learn them some different uh, rituals. Yeah. But then it's up to them to create them. Yeah. And this takes time. And the best thing I always say, the best thing is minimum six months in between. Yeah. And this gives you time to get all the knowledge of the level one in. And then you have a fresh start to say, okay, now I, I want something new. You know? yeah, I want to yeah. be triggered with something new. I want to elevate the next step. And that's why we also work in always work yeah. in levels. Yeah. I understand because you can read a book about running a marathon and you can know every detail, exactly. but it does not mean tomorrow you go running and you exactly. do a marathon. Yeah, so exactly. it needs time. And yeah, that's true. Uh, so about the Lolly Masters, you said already something about essential oils. So yeah. sauna master or, or people can buy essential oils at Lolly Masters. Yeah, or, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we did is um, we try to um, bring it in three ways. So we are we are not an essential oil company. Yeah, we bring a full concept to the people. And this is for us very important. Why selling essential oils if the people have no idea how to work with them? Yeah, because first of all, essential oils are a natural product. They are a pure product. Yeah. and it, it really comes from nature and this we need to respect yeah and if you have people that misusing them or disabusing them uh it is first of all not respectful to nature and second of all it is also can be dangerous because yeah. essential oils is not just some random fragrance it is it, it, these are active molecules and yeah. these molecules um they they are the, essential oils are so concentrated that you can do bad things with them yep. you know you know for yeah, example cinnamon yeah, yeah. if you overdose it people, people will have get, yeah will yeah. have uh, skin rashes yeah. just because it's uh, there are so many phenols inside these are fantastic for the immune system fantastic for for cleaning yeah. but on the other hand if you get them too much it's dangerous uh, also for example essential oils are flammable yeah I seen people taking essential oils inside the sauna and just dropping them into the water in the in the uh, in the in the spoon, yeah. putting them on the on the stones, putting the bottle there. But yeah, these oils get hot; they form gases, and the bottle can explode. Yeah, yeah. If the bottle explodes near uh, the oven, you will have a burn. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's <laughs> a true, flame uh, so yeah, high. Yeah. You can get glass on the on the ground yeah. where people are barefooted inside the sauna. People, it, so it it can be really dangerous. That's yeah. why I always say, okay, we we uh, give um, a, a full palette of essential oils, uh, really proper essential oils. This is also very important because there's a lot of difference in essential oil, uh, proper essential oil, proper products. At the same time, we are giving a lot of education how to use them. Yeah, and the third. What is for us important is we present to you also the right tools to use yeah. them. And these tools make it very easy for Alcus Masters to use them because I know that not every Alcus Master 
is um, is uh, an aromatherapist. Yep. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people come and go inside a wellness center. Yeah. And we try to make it as easy as possible. That's why we made, for example, all of our bottles. There are colors on them. Yeah. To make a nice harmonization. If you just we have this chart where you can easily follow the colors. So we made these different charts where you see okay. If I need a relaxing oil, okay, this is a relaxing oil. I need to put it in this form. I need to dose it like this. Yeah. Um, and now we're working already two and a half years on our app uh, where every August Master has, has a phone. Yeah. Um, where we easily, you know, there's a QR code on the bottle. You just scan it. Oh, okay, this does that, that, and that. Or, for example, there's a filter inside yeah. where I say, okay, I need a relaxing oil that is from India that is... Uh, that is grounding. Okay, click, click, click. I put the filters in and you get the list. These are the oils. Yeah. If you click on them, uh, you see how exactly how to use them inside the sauna. Uh, in this app, there is also a full recipe list with a lot of different um, um, Avgu sessions where people get inspired from them because I know that a lot of people need some, you know, you need to have like a base where to yeah, start yeah, from. Yeah, yeah and uh also for new august masters they have sometimes you know there are so many essential oils but they need like some guiding in 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 the ritual so this is what we're providing we're providing uh a food in this full app we we provide a lot of sessions where they also can filter okay i need a relax session yeah they just click it they check okay i need these oils i need so many drops and i have to say this this and that yeah simple as that yep. and you're finished uh, and uh, later on, you, there's even the possibility to make your own sessions inside your app. Yeah. They, you store it on the phone, and uh, you say, hey, this was a really nice session. I will just save it. I use so many oils, but there, this should be a little bit more. So I, I save it in my phone yep. for next time. Oh, okay, in my sauna, I need these amount of drops. I need these things, and it's so easy. You can yeah. even share them with your, yeah. uh, with your fellow. I like that. I'm a fan of the app, so it's really good. Yeah, exactly. uh, It was on my list of questions I had uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> later on, but okay, we can go on yeah. a bit about the app. Uh, if I'm a sauna master, I'm uh, here something about this app now. How to get this app? Uh, how to get into the app? What, yeah. what do I need for that? Well, um, we changed a little bit. So uh, the app was developed by uh, Frank. He's an Avgus master in, in, in Germany. Um, and uh, he came up with the idea, hey, you know, should we, should we bring this in app form? Because, you know, we live in the digital age. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, we were thinking, how can we make it even more easier, bring more information to the people? And you can do it with, you know, making PDFs that people can print out. But then, you know, you are not flexible because yeah. these prints, you need to... Um, yeah, if something changes or you want to add something, yeah, you need to upload new things. They need to print it again. So we needed something more flexible. Also, we have all these different languages, yeah. which then you have to print, make all of these things. And in an app, it's very easy. You, you always have it with you. You always yeah. have it yeah. with you. It's always in your pocket. You don't need a full map. Yeah. Uh, and everywhere you are, you can create these things. So yeah. that's why uh, we came up with the idea of creating an app. Um, so we started with the Lolly Master app, um, I think two, yeah, two and a half years ago. Yeah. And at this moment, it's available in nine languages. So yeah. it's, 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 it was quite a big job to, to make it. Um, and we added some, some, yeah, some easy things uh, to it. Uh, we also um, created different serial keys in that. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing that we changed now is instead of making the Lolly Master app, we made it into the Aroman app. Yeah. Why? Uh, because we feel that a lot of guests from the sauna yeah. also want to learn about these essential oils because they hear about the essential oils and Avgus Master is, is really an, an ambassador of essential yeah, oils yeah, eh? yeah. so he talks about the oils, he explains what they do and people want to use them at home yeah. Yeah? so um, what we did is, okay, let's just transform this app uh, focused on Avgus Masters into focused on people that just love essential oils. Avgus yeah. Masters love essential oils, they use essential oils, but also yeah. people at home yeah. can use it. So what we did is uh, we uh, lifted up some restrictions. So um, everybody that, uh, that want to learn about essential oils can download the app. Yeah. It's, on, it's the Aroma app, it's on iOS uh, and Android. So in these stores, you download it and you have really the basics. Yeah. You can see all of our essential oils. You can see what they do to the body. You can see the contraindications, yeah. uh, what to watch out. You can filter through them. I want a relaxing oil. I want to this, this, and that. 
Uh, so the basics are perfectly inside. Yeah. If you buy our essential oils, you get a little bit more. So yeah. what we do then is we provide a serial key um, to the uh, to the customers. If it's an August Master or it's anybody else, we give them a key where they unlock a lot of new yeah. knowledge, they unlock recipes and so on, so they really can start yeah. working with the oils. So you have a kind of levels also. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And the more uh, educations you do, the more things you unlock. <coughs> For example, if you do the level one course, you also unlock uh, the course books, the charts yeah. inside your app. Yeah. So you always have everything with you. Yeah. Uh, and this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to create an app. If you put all the knowledge in there, it becomes very... It, it becomes too much for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, and we give all the knowledge to the people on their level. Yeah. Uh, and if you learn something new, we give you the tools yeah. and, in, and the information to use it even more. And so it, it we give you like this gradual information. If I, I give you, you know, uh, let's say uh, you want to learn about uh, essential oils and I give you a book like this to start yeah. here, this is your book, yeah. you think, Phew, Okay, this is uh, where to begin. Yeah, that's but true. if you give a little yeah. book like this, and then another book, and another yeah, yeah. book, it's much easier to yeah, understand. And easier. this is the uh, yeah. the idea about the serial yeah. keys. Yeah. And I think it's also good for the people, let's say the, the visitors, who comes to your off course or who are in the sauna, and they want to buy an essential oil. What is behind uh, an eucalyptus or a mint? Where is it good for? So I think yeah. it's good. Everybody can can yeah, use this. Yeah, and the yeah. great thing is also in our app. There's also uh, we talk about. Uh, what the um, what the oil where the oil comes from? Yeah. Where, what plant does it come from? Where does it grow? Uh, and you get a little bit of a sense what 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 uh, yeah what uh, what the plant is because an essential oil it's just you know it's just a bottle with a liquid. But if you understand where that liquid is coming from, it, it gives you another dimension to 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 the essential oil. Yeah. 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 So I did see also, but maybe this is an interesting question because if you look. To essential oils, there are so much that you can buy. Uh, some are good, some are not good. Mm -hmm. If I'm just go to a shop and I want to buy a good 100% essential. essential oil, what do I need to look at? Because okay. I know you can buy essential oil, they say it's two euro, but yeah. the same bottle will be 20 euro. Yeah, so, what exactly. is the difference? So, there's a couple of differences in essential oils. So, um, you have different levels and quality of essential oil so the first level you know we could we you, you cannot call that an essential oil it's a natural identical oil and this is what you mostly see for two euros you see a package where all the oils are the same price and uh, you get five oils for 15 euros yeah and there's rose inside you know you're tricked yeah, yeah it's, okay. no rose. <laughs> it's no rose it's no rose exactly. yeah, it just smells like that exactly yeah. so what are they doing uh, with the natural you know you have synthetic oils i'm not speaking about these yeah, yeah. so you have natural identical oils. These are oils that um, the molecules are extracted from plants. So, for example, uh, let's say limonene is uh, the citrus fragrance from uh, the orange oil. Yeah. They extract that. Um, then, uh, let's say, for example, pinene is the pine, piney oil from yeah. pine. Yeah? Yeah. So, the pine fragrance from pine. They extract that and they create a new fragrance with these separate molecules. This yeah. is a natural identical oil. Uh, we never use this in, in aromatherapy. Yeah. While it doesn't contain the synergy of the plant, yeah. um, what we want to have is the full synergy of the plant. So yeah. this is the first, this is natural identical oil. Yeah, we yeah. don't use that. Second, you have industrial oils. So industrial oils are mainly used in uh, the food uh, uh, sector. Yeah. So what they're doing, they're adding essential oils to, let's say, for example, orange or to, let's say, um, let's say yogurt, yeah? yep, they're yep. adding an orange oil to that. They can also say it's, uh, uh, it's, um, uh, it's natural, uh, it's organic. They do, the, do it in a lot of, of organic and natural foods. Yep. Um, the thing is with, uh, with industrial oils is that they mostly remove a lot of things that give a bad taste yep. uh, or a bad smell. Yeah. Um, yep. And uh, so they, um, yeah, they, they, these are usually refined oils. Yeah? yeah, They also come from big batches. They blend a lot of things together because they only want to go for a certain taste or for a certain fragrance. Yeah. Yeah? Um, so industrial oils are usually very fast, um, uh, very fast distilled. 
uh, they are usually in big containers distilled, uh, just bring it up, getting the things out that we just need and the rest, you know, next. Yep. Um, again, these oils shouldn't be used in aromatherapy. Why again? They are not containing the full synergy of the yep. plant. And second, they are not distilled in the right way. Yep. So uh, again, industrial oils, 90% uh, you of essential oils that you find on the market are industrial oils. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah, these are these are not the kinds that you want in aromatherapy. Yeah. yeah. So again, these oils they are good for fragrances. They are good for natural fragrances for natural fruits, uh, but for aromatherapy again, we say a no. Then the last part um, are essential oils. These are the the ones that you know that that should be used in, in aromatherapy yeah. uh, and these are botanical identified essential oils so that's the first thing they need to be botanical identified yeah. meaning that we know exactly from which plant it is yeah. and camel defined essential oil so yeah. every oil has a certain camel type yeah. meaning if you look at our bottles for example you see um, thyme CT Timo. Yeah. So CT stands for camel type. That yeah. means that our essential oils, they are analyzed. They have a full, uh, um, they have a full um, uh, analyze from all the molecules that are in inside. Yeah. Because one plant could have a different camel type. With thyme, yeah. for example, you have five different camel types. But that means the molecule structure of the plant, where it has been growing, yeah, because a plant grows in a certain environment and makes molecules inside to protect themselves. And yeah. one of the things is the essential oils can change dram dramatically uh, if a plant grows somewhere else. Uh, yeah. With time you have it, rosemary you also have it. Um, but of course, if the molecule structure changes from the yeah. oil, then your effect changes. Yeah. So it's a different oil. It's just a different yeah, yeah. oil. It smells different. It tastes different. It yeah. has a different property. So knowing... Uh, if you want to do aromatherapy, you need to know what you're working with. Yeah. yeah? Um, so uh, that's why, you, for example, you can, you can let's say, buy a car, uh, but if you don't know what type it is, yeah. you don't know what you're going to drive with. Yeah. yeah? Uh, so you can buy a car, but it could be a truck, or it could be a, a van, or it could yeah. be a race car. Uh, but you need to know what your goal is. If yeah. you, if your goal is, I want to get as fast as possible to the other side of the country. You don't want to buy a bus. Yeah. Yeah? You want to yeah. buy a race car. Yeah? So that's that. that's the same thing with the camo type. You need to know what your what tools you're working with. And um, so a camo uh, type defined essential oil uh, gives you the perfect overview. Okay, what is this essential oil do? Yeah. yeah. If you know the botanical name, you know where it's coming from, what it does. Then what also should be on the bottle. Uh, or should be mentioned is uh, the area where it's coming from because yeah. the area also like I said the area where something is growing defines uh, the fragrance the smell uh, the, the the properties of the oil so it's like wine eh? yeah, yeah. if you uh, if you buy um, uh, let's say uh, a Chardonnay if you grow it here or in Australia or somewhere else it will taste different yeah, yeah. and it's the same with essential oil so the the region should be on it where it's coming from yeah. and usually and yeah, um, you know, if the, if you don't know where it's coming from, then it's it. Yeah, you should question yeah, yeah. Uh, the quality of the oil. Yeah. Um, and then what also should be on it, you know, you have two um, qualities. You have a conventional, and you have an organic one. Yeah? yeah. What is the most important is for the quality of the oil. If it's conventional or it's organic, the first thing they need to check is does it have a camel type yeah. because you can have organic oils which have no camel type yeah and you know then what what is you know it yes it's organic but it's if it's shitty organic yeah well yeah then why buy the oil so the best oils are camel type defined and botanical defined essential oil yeah and then of course you can check if it's organic or uh, conventional grown um, and of course, yeah, uh, the, 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 the way it has been distilled is also so important. Yeah. Uh, low pressure, uh, low temperature, long distillery process, yeah. so you get all these little molecules out. Yeah. yeah. So this is what you need to check on the bottle, uh, if there's a camel type on it, uh, yeah. if there's 
um, uh, um, a full botanical name on it. Um, does it have the region on it where it's coming from? Uh, also, the part of the plant is so important yeah. because you can buy cinnamon oil. Yeah. But is it from the leaf or is it from the bark? It's a yeah. completely different oil. Yeah? So all of these things you need to yeah. have in mind. But I think it's very important for the people because if you go to a shop, everybody can say it's the best oil. Yeah. So if you see a bottle That's and that. there is no botanical name or where it's coming exactly. from, then you can start thinking yeah. this is yeah. not good. And that's the, the biggest problem right now is that there's no fine law that says, okay, this you can call an essential oil and yeah. this you can call a an, an therapeutic grade essential oil yeah. yeah, because this is what we need to have. Yeah. You know, everybody can sell essential oils, but if they're all industrial oils, you take away the beauty from, um, from aromatherapy because, you know, we do this to to help people in their natural well-being yeah. yeah we need to and and all of these studies that have been done are done with real proper essential oils yeah. but if you then bring in low quality essential oils you bring it first of all for a lot of people you bring our whole industry to a lower level yeah, yeah? and of course a lot of people just want to make money and they just sell something and it's it's easy and it's fun uh, but you know, it takes away the, the professionality yeah. from. Yeah, and it's from... not the quality you should have. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I did see also on your website you have the bio certification. Is this on all the essential oils? No, or that, like some? I said, yeah. yeah. So um, we have we um, provide both uh, conventional and um, uh, organic uh, grade essential oils. So we are indeed um, certified by Certisys here in Belgium. Um, which come, uh, yeah, I think around four times per year. Yeah. Uh, they come and check, and two times per year they come and check. Also, uh, they do uh, tests and sample testing and so on. Yeah. Um, to see if everything is correct, and from now uh, they uh, we have a, a clean sheet, so uh, they are very happy to come with it's, us because everything is very clear. It's standing also for the quality of exactly, the product. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, but at one point you need to check, like I said. Um, you need to check what is possible if you have a good conventional oil uh, in comparison with a, a, an organic one. Uh, I'm, I'm always referring, for example, to red mandarin. Red mandarin, you can buy a red mandarin conventional, a good red mandarin conventional. You can also buy it organic, but the organic will be 10 times the price of a conventional. Yeah. And this scares people away. It takes away the ability to a lot of people to, to have Easyable, easy access to essential oils. Yeah, um, and that's why I prefer to then uh, provide a conventional one. Then I have to, you know, you could, I, I, you could go so high in these prices. Yeah. yeah, but at one point you need to make sure that people can still afford it, and that it's still accessible for a lot of people. And you know, we are there for everybody. We yeah. want that everybody can enjoy the benefits of aromatherapy. And if you then provide oils that are so expensive, then you take away the, the possibility for a lot of people. So yeah, yeah. <coughs> we try to, to bring um, uh, a great quality with a reasonable price. Yeah. So people can still buy it, can experiment with it. Um, you know, our most expensive oil, I think right now is the Jasmine. Uh, yeah. This is 78 euros for 10 milliliters. Of course, you only need one drop and it's, yeah, it's an explosion, uh, but we try to to keep our our oils at a at a level that uh, people at home can use them, yeah. or a wellness center can integrate them in their wellness program. Yeah, because you know that there's a lot of synthetics on the market, there's a lot of low quality uh, essential oils on the market, and at one point we need to still be able to <clears throat> to compete with that. Yeah, if if I come. Uh, to a wellness center that works with synthetics and they buy peppermint for 10 euros for a bottle and I come and say yeah but I also have peppermint it's 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 the best quality but it's 100 euros yeah then it's it's not yeah it's not it's not possible for a wellness center to do that so it needs to be accessible yeah, yeah. okay so I think we will have a little break now yes and then we go further with part two okay perfect thank you yeah.